So that is a engine, four-cylinder diesel out of a Mercedes 240D. And down over here, this is a five-speed manual transmission from uh, a Chevy S10 pickup truck. Now what I've did is I've temporarily remounted the manual transmission Mercedes flywheel to the engine. When I got that engine that had the automatic transmission set up on it. So I got a used manual transmission flywheel. I've just temporarily tacked it up on there. And then what I did was I went and I found a clutch. There's the box for it in the background that I called up a clutch place and I said, hey, I need a clutch where the splined middle bit here matches that on the transmission for the Chevy, but the outside friction part is going to fit the flywheel from the Mercedes 240D. So that fits real nice in there like that, but it also fits the splines. It's uh, easier if I did this two-handed. It also fits right onto that transmission there. So in theory, I should be able to put this in here like that, and then that will have the clutch plate over the top of that, which this fits that flywheel. So I should be able to put these together and then put that transmission onto there. Now to do that, I'm going to need an adapter plate because the holes are not going to line up. And unfortunately, that will space things further apart by the thickness of that adapter plate. However, one thing that's kind of cool about this engine is this here is a separate piece. So it may be that you know, this is going to be too thick with some sort of an adapter plate, but because this is separate, I might be able to mill this down by however far I need to for the adapter plate or otherwise work with it because that whole piece just uh, unbolts right off there. So I think that's going to be my saving grace in terms of uh, getting the depth correct because I do need uh, the tip of that transmission to get all the way in the middle and it looks like I might need to add some little bearing right to the middle of that, something along those lines. So we'll see if you have any advice on this project. Um, give a comment here, or better yet, stop by 300mpg.org. Thanks.